So, do your clients have hair loss or scalp concerns? Well, you must be able to perform basic trichoscopy to look at the scalp under a microscope. And that's exactly what we're gonna talk about today. Hi guys, my name is Kimberly Jenkins. I'm a licensed cosmetologist, a certified trichologist, and I'm here at Bauman Medical Center in Boca Raton, Florida. If you wanna look at the scalp under a microscope, you've come to the right place. I'm excited to show you how to set up and use your hair cam light for the purpose of basic trichoscopy during a scalp exam. I'm gonna show you how to take clear photos of the scalp for your scalp analysis before and after any treatment and to look at the density and quality of hair in different areas. Now in this video, we're gonna review unboxing, setup, and the basic use of the Wi-Fi and USB LED scalp microscope called the hair cam light. Now, as I said before, if there's a hair or scalp health concern, you must be able to perform basic trichoscopy to look at the scalp under a microscope. Now, we affectionately call this microscope the hair cam light because it fits right here in the family of trichoscopy tools, including our traditional hair cam, our hair cam pro, and the very big kahuna, the hair matrix microscope that we utilize every day right here in our clinic. So I guess you're wondering what's in the box and I'm here to tell you. Your LED microscope, the hair cam light, a user manual and a USB cable and a convenient gooseneck stand along with the tool to put it together. You can use this stand to hold your microscope when you're not using it or to look at hairs that have been shed or plucked from the scalp. Now on the side of the scope, there's a switch for Wi-Fi or PC, the camera button to snap photos, and an LED brightness adjustment as well as the focus and zoom adjustment. Here's a tip, don't forget to charge the scope and take the tiny lens cap off the end before using. Let me show you how to set up the scalp microscope to work wirelessly using Wi-Fi with your phone. The first thing you need to do is to download and install the app to your phone from the App Store or Google Play Store. The QR code is included in the user manual on page four, or you can search for Inscam app. Once you have the app on your telephone, you're gonna hit the app. When we open the app, you're gonna see that it says Inscam, view photo, a video, and please connect the device. Now, at this point, what you're going to want to do if you're working off of Wi-Fi is you're going to want to merge your camera with your phone's Wi-Fi. First thing you're going to want to do is to long press the camera button for three seconds and you should see that there's a blue light flashing right here at the top. You're going to go to your settings. Once you go to your settings, you're going to look for the ISCAM in your Wi-Fi settings. Once you have your ISCAM connected into your Wi-Fi settings, then you're gonna to go to your ISCAM app, hit the app button, and as you can see, voila, you're connected. Once we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and start to look at our patient's scalp. So what you wanna do now is to make sure that your client is at a good height where you can see the top of the scalp. And I'm gonna have you just tilt your head back like that. And the next thing we're gonna do is to make sure that you have a clean, straight part. So I normally like to use combs that have a rat tail at the end so that I can part through the hair or glide through the hair very quickly and efficiently. So what I like to do is I like to take one finger and place it on one side of the part line. And then I like to take the other finger and place it on the opposite side of the part line. Now, once you have your scope onto your patient's scalp, now you wanna focus and make sure that you can see. Now we're able to see a better picture but also we need to adjust the resolution. Voila, there we go. So after I found the area that I wanna take the photo, it's on the scalp, I can see that my clarity is really good. And I wanna hit the, the camera button right here. So 
So after you've picked the photos that you want to send, you're going to that button, and you're gonna cut. It's gonna show you different options. So of course, for those of you that have iPhones, you can always airdrop the photos. So there's the airdrop, and you can pick the device that you want to airdrop. Also, if you want to email, you can hit mail and whoever you're going to email your photos to, those are the steps. Now let me show you how to use the hair cam light with your laptop or your PC. Now connect your USB cord to your scope and plug it into the USB port on your personal computer or your laptop. And you want to go to whatever camera system that you have on your computer. For the Apple, we have Photo Booth. Open up the Photo Booth application. Enter full screen mode. You're going to want to make sure that your slide is switched to PC instead of Wi-Fi. You want to make sure that your power button's on. So you're going to want to hold it. As you can see, you see the light, the blue light flashing, letting you know that it's on and you can see the red light flashing here letting you know that it is connected to your computer once you have it focused then you can go ahead and start taking your pictures and for those of you that are using a windows computer there's detailed instructions inside the manual on how to connect your camera to your laptop so one of the cool features that i really like about this camera 